Hey guys, Tim here. Today we're going to take a look at the game Contrast. So I first ran across this game at PAX Prime. They were nice enough to talk to me. You can check out that interview linked down below or in my previous PAX 2013 feed. Uh, it was at PAX Prime. And, you know, it's one of these kind of 1920... Um, I don't know if you call it Art Nouveau, but, you know, it's definitely got this, you know, good 20s Art Deco feel. Uh, it's based in what I can only assume is France. Um, it's definitely an interesting game. Uh, it's a unique platformer. So take a look at some gameplay and I'll come back with my final commentary. Now we go this way. Follow me. Oh, I think you're too big. <laughs> hmm. I think that goes all the way through to the other street. If I move this car, you could walk up the shadow, couldn't you? See you at the ghost now! Okay guys, well there's some gameplay. As you can see, it's definitely a unique 2D, 3D platformer where, you know, it's, it's like puzzle based, but, you know, it's set in this Art Nouveau style, you know, 1920s, retro looking um, world, I guess you could say. And, you know, it looks really good. I really like the gameplay uh, shifting back and forth between the 2D and the 3D. Uh, specifically running in the 3D with the camera swing takes a little bit to get used to. It's a little uh, clunky in my opinion. I wish the default camera would be a little more uh, standard and let you look around with the, the other camera but always return you back. And It does take a little while to get used to running and shifting your view at the same time, but that said, not that long. Uh, it's, a, it's really a fun game. This is more like uh, if Bioshock didn't have shooting, I would equate this to that, where it's more of a, you know, you're playing a movie than you're playing a game, right? I mean, it's a puzzle game, but it also feels very cinematic, and the audio on this is awesome. Um, I really like the songs, I really like the background music, I really like the sound effects. It all sounds great, really high production quality, and it's from an indie studio. So take a look, guys. Supporting stuff like this is how we get more indie stuff in the future. Now, some gratuitous moves in shadow form. This is so good. You're in my past, Joe. I had my fill. It wouldn't last, Joe. 